What's going on you guys? Can I just say this box is the biggest box I have ever had in my history of Erin Condren ordering like I mean, it's it's massive. I just got this last night. I didn't even know I got it last night because I honestly, according to tracking, said it was going to come Friday. What is today? So you guys are aware. Today is Friday, May 11th. This probably won't be up till Saturday. But I have been dying to get my Erin Condren order. And this, like, this box is just, I mean, it is massive i don't know can i like zoom out and show you guys how big this box is i don't know what took so long let me try to cover my address i don't know what took so long honestly for this order to come in but it took like forever and i know people who ordered way more than i did like look how big like it's just like do you guys see how massive this box is i can't even push it all the way like it's it's yeah it's it's insane it's insane in the membrane but anyways yeah, I haven't even pinked inside or opened it up, but we about to right now. Um, I'm trying to still cover my address. Oh, 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 wowzers. Okay, so, um, but this is definitely probably the the biggest air Condren order, maybe, that I've ever done to date. Um, but right off the bat, y'all see what I see. So, um, it's just, you know, a postcard. Nurture your mind with great thoughts. I'm going to have to definitely take everything out of this box, you guys. Hold on a second here, because... Yeah, this is like, this is, it's too big. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, hold on. All right, you guys, we're good. We're good. I thought, yeah, okay, I think we're good. Some stuff kind of fell out. Oh my gosh, we're just a mess. So let's see here. I got a, you know, one of those stickers, you know, to put on presents or gifts or whatnot too from a postcard like always. And this is, um... oh, it says, enjoy these samples for yourself. A compliment cards. A two family and friends uh, discount cards, gift labels, and a coil clip connector. So uh, I guess all of that should be in here. Um, so anyways, let's just open it up and show you everything, everything, everything I got. Maybe I should move everything to the side. So that way y'all can't get any sneak peeks. I should have probably put my poster board down, but whatever. YOLO! yolo yolo oh my god i really hope my damn planner is not in shambles because i would be highly highly upset okay i don't even know what to start with i'm just gonna grab things in no particular order so the first thing i have here is a meal planner should i zoom in a little bit nope that's not zooming in Brittany. okay so the first thing i have here is from petite planner is it petite planner or petite paper yeah, petite planner, and it is their meal planner. Um, and honestly, I do have, I have two other petite planner books. I have the gratitude book, I believe, um, which it's not because I ordered it. It came in like one of the, like this, like the quarterly boxes, but I love the way these feel. And I love how like bendy they are. I also have the budget book, which I'll be honest, I haven't used. I want to use it, but so I feel like I do really good in my budget planner. So I feel like I don't need to be using it right now, but I don't know. And I like that it's undated, so I really can use that anytime I want. But I really kind of want to start meal planning and meal prepping. And I thought this would be, like, a great idea to do that. And I love the colors. Honestly, I love, like, the whole look and design of this. So when you open it up, um, this will be my first time flipping through it as well with you guys. So um, over here, it just says breakfast, lunch, dinner. And then it has Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I assume it'll say this. This looks dark. Is it just me or is it just like dark? Let's see here. All right, I fixed the coloring over here. So you get three columns, so breakfast, lunch, dinner, and this just goes Sunday to Saturday and it's like colored. You have a shopping list here. So you have two columns. You also have like a spot where you could put the date and then it just says over here, meal prep strategy, which was there a strategy to meal prep? I don't know. I've never really done it. But anyways, I like this idea. So you get like your whole week of like what you want to prep. Is that the same? Oh yeah. So you get that the same for, you get a lot of pages. I really am not going to count all these pages because I feel like, is that like most of this book? Um, yeah, you get a lot of pages. Is that this? No, there's more to this book. Hold on y'all. Okay. So yeah, you get a lot, you know, maybe like a couple months sure um and then over here this is dinner party meal plan so that's kind of cool if you're going to have a dinner party um i don't ever have dinner parties so that would not be for me but hey if you do i think that's a great idea um you get so you get a couple of these dinner party ones which you know if you do like maybe thanksgiving or christmas parties or something like that that would be pretty good for something like that then you have a price checker um so the date the item the store size what do you mean size 
Um, maybe if it's like a dozen egg versus 18 eggs, I don't know. Price and then unit price. So I don't think I would actually utilize this personally, but I'm sure that's probably a really good idea. So you get two pages of that. Then you get a recipe log. So the name uh, of the dish, then ingredients, and then directions. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pages. I mean, not bad. Um, and then you get a conversion chart, which I actually like because I am like not, if you watch my vlogs, you know, I am not you know, Susie Homemaker, is that the saying? Yeah, I'm not Susie Homemaker, I'm not a cook, my husband is the cook. Um, but yeah, so like the whole teaspoon, tablespoon, ounces, like all of this, like that is perfect for me. And like here, recipe calls for two eight inch round cake pans, that means eight cups, and then it tells you what the equivalent is. So I like that, and it tells you like ounces versus pounds, like what it translates to, translates, converts, yeah, so I actually really like this. So I don't know, I was definitely curious and interested about it. So I was like, hmm, if this will help me meal plan, why don't I just, you know, try to, you know, get it, give it a go, give it a try. And then in all of these petite planners, you do have like a pocket in the back here. So if you wanna put receipts or anything, and then it does come with one sheet of stickers. And I think the stickers are super, super cute which I don't think I would use the stickers in here. I think I would use them like in my actual planner or budget planner. But anyways, um, yeah, that is the budget, or not the budget planner, oh my God. That is the meal planner from Petite Planner. And like I said, I just think that's, you know, something I kind of want to start like getting on the bandwagon for. I mean, a lot of people in my budget videos, because I do my budget plan with me, a lot of them tell me that I need to start like meal planning because it'll help me save on groceries and whatnot. So I don't know. I think that'll be a good idea. Plus also, you know, like some nights you just have no idea what in the world you want to cook. Well, I could always refer back to this and be like, okay, well, hey, this night we had this. And you know, if we have all the ingredients, then we can make it. So I'm hoping I can like utilize it for that as well. So I got this throw that off to the side um okay so i did get two free items um maybe i'll just show that later oh i can't show this um i'm gonna have to insert there's no way i can show this huh uh no there's really not so i did get address labels i will insert pictures of what i got um i was talking to my friend kirsten because i know she uses them and she said that she loves them and i've really really been wanting address labels so i got one that says the camacho family and obviously our address um, and then it has like the palm leaves print. I'll insert a picture. And then Sweet Treats is my favorite, favorite, favorite print from Erin Condren. It's my favorite. I you guys, I went to insert a picture of the Sweet Treat address labels and I cannot find any Sweet Treats print on the Erin Condren website. So I think they discontinued that print and I'm like devastated. So I'm so sorry. I think it's perfect. Please Erin Condren, if you're watching this or anyone that has any power in Erin Condren, make the sweet treats print and a Sherpa throw, please. But anyways, um, yeah, I just got that one just with my name and then obviously the same address, but just with my name and that has like the sweet treat print. So I got one of each. I've really been wanting um, address labels. So I got that. Oh, I'm sorry. I got another set of address labels. Ah, ha, ha. So I actually got the pizza print um, that says all you need is pizza. I don't know like what the, is it called? Pizza? I'll insert a picture as well. Um, it's, oh, I can actually show it to you because it's my PO box. So that's really not a big deal. Here you go. So if you wanted to see what they look like. So I wanted this because like I said, it has my PO box. So in case I write letters back to anybody who sends me a letter or a card or anything like that, I have like a professional, how professional can you be with pizza? But you know, it has an address label so it looks a little bit nicer. So yeah, and it's the pizza print. If you don't know this about me, pizza is like an obsession of mine. I eat pizza like at least once a week. If I could have it every day, I would. So I got these address labels too. So I got three address labels, which I'm really excited about. Um, the next thing that I got are these meat. <laughs> I was going to say metallic. It's really metallic. Okay. Cause I can't English, but, um, these I think are from the last launch because it's definitely like the, is it the painted petals is what they call it. They do have the, I don't even know what this print is called this year but like the lines, I don't know. I really like the lines this year, but I don't know. I liked these colors a little bit more and I like that they are metallic. And I wanted this mainly for my budget planner because, um, you know, in the, in the monthly, the deluxe monthly planners, you don't have like a spacer or like tabs to like flip to the months and stuff like that. So I figured this would be really good. So I can just flip right to, you know, what month or page I'm working on. So that's why I got these. And then I'll have two extras, which they're bookmarks. So, I mean, I'll find something for these, but that's what I got. 
And I, ho, 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 I'm really excited. Oh, that's what it's called. Woven Wonder. Um, the sticky notes. I feel like everybody goes ape shit for these sticky notes. I haven't, I actually do. I have two sets of sticky notes and I'm almost out. I actually have a ton of sticky notes, but I feel like you can never go wrong. So I wanted to get the new Woven Wonder sticky notes. I really liked this long one here and it's lined. Um, I like to use these a lot with pre-planning. So that's what I'm going to use it for and snap it into my planner. So yeah, I definitely picked these up. And like I said, these are the new version. Version. I also got a hardbound notebook. My husband really wanted one of these um, because I actually had the teal one that I got in like as a free gift with one of my orders and I gave it to my mother-in-law and she uses it to write all of her recipes in. Um, so, ooh. Ooh, there's a little coupon code. Okay, I see you. So anyways, it is just lined paper. They also have like a dot grid way but it's, um, this is like the most, like the least girly print that I saw. And it does have like the silver, like, ugh. oh no, my brightness is up too bright for you. Oh, you can kind of see it. So the, uh, the edges of the paper are lined in silver. It also has a gray. So like a space, you know, to like put it. But anyways, I had the teal one and I ended up giving it to my mother-in-law because she wanted like a good notebook to write all of her recipes in. And my husband really liked it actually. And was like, Hey, this is Aaron Condren. I want one of these so I can write my recipes in. So I told him next time I placed an order, I would get him one. So this is for him. Um, just move that to the side. Oh my God. Okay, this I am so excited about. I got the planner folio. I couldn't honestly decide what print I wanted. I don't know why I was having such a hard time deciding and choosing one. But it's funny because I was talking to Kirsten and I was like saying how I really wish they came out with a coiled version of the life planner, but a smaller coiled version. Like I don't like the hardbound. I'm not into that. But like if I ever want to travel with my life planner, I just feel like it's so big and the, I've traveled with it my very first one and the, it just got like scratched up and just all messed up. So I wish there was like a smaller version so it'd be easier to travel with. But they came out with these planner folios and like I said... They had a, a bunch of prints. If they had the sweet treats print, I would have gotten it, or the pizza one, I would have gotten it. But I just got this one. I thought it was pretty. I just the colors do look pretty dull in here. But I didn't get it like with my name or monogrammed or anything. Like in case I ever wanted to like get rid of it or gift it, you know, like give it to someone. I could like if I there's a different print that came out, I would get that. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to like think ahead just in case. But this is to hold your life planner, which I think is awesome. So it's perfect for traveling if I want to throw it in my purse. Um, so it has like a little pocket here. And it has two smaller pockets right here. It has a place for your pen. And then this right here holds your life planner. So I have my life planner right here. So let me just bust her out. You're going to go ahead and get a sneak peek of the cover. But... Yeah, I would just put this in like so, so it protects, you know, my life planner. And then put this on top, sorry with the brightness. And then yeah, this just is supposedly supposed to fit. Oh, it does, it does. And look at that, my planner is protected. So I don't know how much stuff you can like shove into those pockets and like how bulky it'll get. Like if it's like, cause it's not elastic right here, but, um. Yeah, I doubt I'll put like too many things in there, but I'm actually pretty excited about this because this kind of like, since they didn't come out with a smaller version of a life planner, um, this will definitely protect my planner. And I do like this print. And you know what? I'm kind of bummed because I didn't realize the back was going to be black. I assumed the print was going to be this whole pattern. I don't know. Mm, yeah, I, I kind of thought it was going to be the whole pattern, but oh well, it's all good. It doesn't matter. I still think the pattern's really pretty. I think this print is called watercolor blooms don't quote me um but yeah i will try to link everything in the description box no i won't try i will i'll link everything in the description box for you guys so if you like anything you can definitely click on the link it'll direct you right to it and then you can purchase you know it if you want to and then also if it's your first time ever to Erin condren i do have a ten dollar off coupon code so you could just um you click on the link and you create an account with Erin Condren and then they mail you a $10 off coupon and you can use it towards um, your purchase with them. So it's only for, you know, newbies to Erin Condren, but let's be real. 
you can sign up for a free email account. So just keep signing up for new email accounts and you can just keep using someone else's referral code. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's a loophole. There's always a loophole to something, right? All right, so let's go ahead and just show you my life planner then. This actually just fell out of it. So this is the perpetual calendar. I have like a million of these, um, but it comes with every single life planner. So um, it's just like a month with like the dates. You can write birthdays or important events. So that's what I do. I write birthdays and important events in mine. So whenever I'm like pre-planning a month or looking at a month to mark birthdays or something like that, I always bust mine out to be like, okay, do I have a birthday this month or like a special like event, like anniversary or something. So that's what this is for. And it comes with every single planner just put that to the side. So this is the life planner. I decided to get the cherry blossom and I did do like the custom cover um, cause you can change the colorway. So I did, um, this light pink here is blush and then the dark pink is magenta. And so I just got my name, which is funny because I haven't changed to my married name. Camacho would be my married name. It's my husband's last name, but I'm still my maiden name Rodriguez, but on my planner, I'm Brittany Camacho, you know, I just try to make him feel a little bit good. <laughs> But, um, is that a smudge? It is. Okay, good. It comes off. I was going to get really upset. You know, these, I love Erin Condren planners, but sometimes you got to like really inspect them because sometimes your shit can be messed up. Um, but of course you have the ruler like always, and it has that woven wonder pattern here. It's just like a bunch of lines, but I really like the lines. But anyways, yeah, I just love the cherry blossom print. I actually have two tattoos of cherry blossom, so it would make sense why I have that. Um, so you open it up, and you have, like, the erasable bar right here, which, I mean, that's... I still wish they'd get rid of this barcode, but whatever. Um, so this is the pouch. So in the pouch, um, I don't even... I used to use my pouch always, but I don't use it anymore. But in case you're new to Erin Condren, you get the coil clip. So you can actually um, take this off here and attach it to your pouch or honestly whatever you want and then you could clip your pouch into your life planner i don't do it anymore but um like i said you can you also get the compliment card so i guess if you would just like randomly want to like hand these out to people i don't know i've never actually done that if you've actually used these compliment cards definitely comment down below and let me know how you use them and like what you did but this one says don't ever look back the future is always forward be humble, be smart, and rule the world, and head up gorgeous. Head up gorgeous. I feel like I said that weird. Um, so those are the compliment cards. You get more of the, ooh, these are metallic. You get more of the, um, like, gift labels to and from with the, like, woven wonder pattern there. And oh, I like the metallic. And then here are the 20% off coupon codes. You get two of them for friends. So I will save those just in case. But, yeah, so that's everything that comes inside the pouch put that off to the side. And then for the um, planner, like I said, um, if you have the planner from last year, so 2017 to, tw wait, no, not 2017, 2018. I don't do my, I do like my year January to December. I don't do like the added like July to July. Um, I don't do that. So anyways, um, this is like just the 2019 planner for me. So I will be having, holding on to this for like a really long time before I can use it, but that's okay. Um, but Anyway, so this is the vellum sheet, which is pretty much always you have a vellum sheet at the very beginning. And this is just the wover, the woven wonder pattern. I cannot speak. Um, and then it just has, you know, right here where you put your name or whatever you want to put here. I actually never fill that out. You get more of the woven wonder. Isn't the color so pretty? I really like that even though I did get the vertical neutral, um, I like that you get a little bit of color right here. I think that is so pretty. Like if I wasn't so picky with my kits, I would definitely get the colorful because the colorful is beautiful, but I don't want to be like, okay, um, you know, August is all yellow. So I have to do all kits with yellow in it. I don't want to be forced to do that. So that's why I do the neutral. Um, but this goes July 2018 all the way to December 19. So I do look... I do like that. I don't really ever look at it, but if you ever wanted to just like briefly look at it, you can. So that's just kind of like that. Then this um, page here, I don't ever use any of these boxes ever in any of my planners, but I know a lot of people use them to track things and goals and things like that. So that's always just good to have. Then you get a lined paper sheet here and then a quote here, what you seek is seeking you. Ooh, I feel like that's very like Harry Potter. I don't know, cause like being like a seeker, I don't know. Maybe I'm reaching for that one, but that's, I don't know. I just seek. So I just immediately thought seeker and Harry Potter. Anyways, we're moving on. So January, um, 
definitely not a lot has changed i feel like from the 2019 planner to the 2018 i feel like it is all pretty much the same i will say here that the flag is a little bit different that it is black and i can just show you here quickly because my planner see sweet treats is my favorite print <laughs> um but just to show you like a monthly here um so the flag is exactly the same size it's the same font but the asterisk is black and for 2018 it is white so i mean really nothing to cry home about but it's all the same the only other difference right here is you do get next month's like month in a glance when you don't have it in the 2018 so that is a difference right there but like i said very subtle differences like nothing major um and then going here so you have december 31st to january 6th which is nice like for those people who had that inner struggle do i do a christmas week or do i do a new year's week now you don't have that struggle for 2019 um but yeah so it's definitely the same like i can show you here i mean the only difference is again the asterisk they are black Oh, can't even see it. They are black here. There's still, you know, one flag on each side versus the white, but the layout and everything is exactly, exactly the same. So let me move 2018 out of the way. Um, but yeah, so you can see it's still no headers. Um, I'm kind of bummed there's no headers because I really wish it's just a lot easier with the headers because I like to scatter my full boxes. If you've ever watched any of my plan with me's, but I did get it figured out and to now where like it's good i just line my bottom washi up with this bottom line and go you know top up and then once i get to like the top boxes if i put a full box at the top the glitter header or the header in general will just slightly overlap it so for me it's nothing to cry home about so i mean it's okay that it still did stay this way um i feel like with anybody they're always gonna have you know some that love it some that hate it um but you know it is what it is and then the only other major thing that changed is Erin Condren went back to a lined notes page I'll just show you quickly for this year this is what the note page looks like so this is 2018 this year with the four circles and then it has like two columns and like a long box here and now it's just a plain lined paper which is how it was when I originally had it and um I'm kind of glad it's just the lined paper I don't know why I just feel like it's just more simplistic and I don't know I like that a little bit more um but anyway so yeah I'm not gonna flip through the entire book with you guys just because it is exactly you know the same I am going to definitely though I don't think any of the colors changed I believe all the colors I love this pattern I just love it and the color is definitely a little bit more muted I feel like they don't look as like vibrant and bright but I like I'm okay with that it looks a little bit more pastel I don't know I just love that I have like a new book I love the smell mm, I love the smell of new planners I do I'm like one of those people I just love the smell of like new books and the pages just feel so crisp and nice and I don't know I love it yeah the colors definitely didn't change but we'll just go back to the back here so you have your last week then which would be the 30 oh so you actually get a little bit of january in here so you get the december 30th you can't even see that december 30th to january 5th and then you go into your lined pages of notes so you get a couple of those and then you get some dot grid so you get a couple of those and then you get coloring pages so if you are in to coloring the llama print and then over here this says let's keep in touch which i do actually have the address book so i don't know if i would use this maybe but it just says name and then two asterisks so you could write like a phone number or email or two phone numbers so you get a couple of that so that's actually pretty nice to keep it in your planner and then towards the back you get some more stickers Aaron contran always does give you some type of stickers and these are like a little bit of foiled stickers and I think all of these are, oh no, you do get all three metals. So you get gold, rose gold, and silver. You also, these stickers are definitely different than last year. So you get like some habits. These like, you can write anything in really. Some checklists, like full boxes where you can write stuff. Some flags here, or like banner type things. And these are foiled as well. 
Then, oh, you get some deco stickers, which I actually really like that these deco stickers. Like, I feel like I would use these a lot in my budget plan with me. So that's really nice. And you get a really good variety. And then the event labels, which I actually love the event labels that they are now like multicolored. So you now get two, four, six, eight, ten different event label colors versus let me show you last year or this year, I should say. You only get four colors. So it's the same exact thing, the asterisk with the white blank in there, but you only get four colors versus now you're going to get ten colors. So I like that. I think that's really good. Um, and then you get of course a pocket and oh my god look at that rose gold like metallic detail like oh i love rose gold it's my favorite metal by the way in case you didn't know and then you get a pocket back here which is typically where the perpetual calendar usually goes right there but it must have just fallen out and then the back so that is the 2019 life planner um definitely comment down below and let me know which you got if you got the vertical the horizontal neutral color hourly they have a lot of options to choose from so i'm really really excited i'm just kind of sad that i can't use her until next year but i'm gonna keep her nice and safe until then but let me show you i got only two things left and the two things that i have left to show you are actually the freebies so because i ordered on launch day i don't know if this is still going on but i know for sure on launch day if you ordered um then you got um freebies so i did get a sticker sheet which i probably would use this and like my but oh my god i didn't realize it was holographic do you guys see that it's holographic the vacation and celebrate <gasps> super cute it's holographic oh my gosh so it is a sticker sheet i don't know if i would honestly use it um probably in my budget planner video or budget book but anyways um i don't know i still like you know still nice to get like a little freebie so i will put that in my sticker pile and then um, the freebie that i know i will use a thousand percent this is a reusable bag i already have one of their reusable bags because i got it in one of those um you know their seasonal surprise boxes but um yeah it's just i don't know what material this is but definitely like if it's anything spills on it or gets wet it's gonna like wash off almost like a rain jacket or something but um yeah it's just a you know a good old reusable bag but i do live in california where you know they charge us if we don't bring bags so i feel like you can never have enough reusable bags and it is in that woven wonder print and like i said i just i don't i really like this i think it's my favorite print that they've done to date and let me just check here that is everything you guys okay so that is everything i got from the erin condren launch day um so for me this is kind of a lot of stuff i mean i don't know maybe for some people it's really not that much but this is definitely the biggest order i've ever made and i am really 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 happy with everything definitely comment down below if you ordered from erin condren launch day what you ordered because i always like to know what other people order also if you're plan on ordering comment down below and let me know what you plan on ordering from Erin Condren but yeah so I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching bye